Hello everyone, this is Wayne, coming to you from Wayne's Model World here in Central Florida. Um, it's been a few days since we uh, did a video, um, haven't had much bench time, um, I don't know, kind of kind of in a slump, I can't, uh, can't get involved, uh, I guess I, I noticed a lot of people going through that, that um, kind of got the ideas, got, got know what you want to do, but just... Um, just can't put the time in. Um, today we're going to do a, a short video. We're going to do a little mail call. Um, a very little update on the Volkswagen bus. Uh, I've, I've done a little bit too, but not a real lot. Um, but I think what, what we're going to do first, we'll do the mail call. I got um, I got a package in the mail uh, today. Uh, it seems like anymore, um, I've been buying more than I'm building. I don't know why, but... All of a sudden, I've been purchasing more models than I'm building, and it used to be that way around. I wouldn't buy models until I, um, I built them or really needed one, then I would buy one. But um, this is this is one of the ones we got. Um, this is the little red, um, little red wagon by um, Lindbergh. Um, kind of seen this, thought it'd be kind of cool, um, and uh, so I, I ordered that one. Um, we, we also got the, um, the Foose, um, uh, 55, uh, 65, excuse me, uh, in, Impala. Um, I, I've already built this kit once. It's a pretty nice kit, really detailed. Um, but it had, it had an accident during, during a move one time and it got smashed. Um, you know, so I, I, I literally just tore it all apart and parted it out and, I don't even know what happened to the body. I think the roof got busted and a couple other things happened to it. So uh, we're we're going to build another one. I actually um, I actually owned uh, a one on one of, uh, of this very very same car, and it was a super sport. Uh, it was it was painted. I painted it black. It was white when I bought it, and it was painted black. Um, but um, this is a very nice kit. Very detailed. Lot lot in this kit. Uh, Another one I got, uh, I've been I've been eyeing this kit for a while. The '63 Impala. Um, this is the um, f the four and one. Uh, what they call the four and one. Um, um, I guess there's a bunch of different ways you can build this stock, race, uh, custom. But this seems to be a pretty cool kit. I've I've been I've been eyeing this one up lately, and I, uh, this will kind of complete my. Uh, uh, I have the 64, I have the 62, um, the 61. I don't have a 63. This would be different. Of course, now I have the 65 also. So uh, this will complete a group of Chevrolets and Palas. Uh, and, and this is cool. I, li I really like the body style on the 63s. And final, and final. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, some things just strike you sometimes. I seen this. I said, uh, "Tiger Shark." Uh, it, it, it's it's an MPC, so we know we all know it's not going to be anything too great. Um, don't seem like it has very very many parts to it. it looks kind of kind of skimpy on the parts. But this is one of them kits that um, you know you can take it. Do something with, I mean, it's already pretty radical, but you could do a lot with this, change things. Uh, you don't mind if you hurt the kit. Um, you know, sometimes uh, sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't, sometimes they end up being thrown in a box. And But um, I, I've, I've never had to do that yet or never have done that yet. But a kit like this, you, you really don't mind. But this is something you can play with. Um, you know, just... They've already, like I said, they've already done some pretty radical stuff to it, but you could really uh, just change this around and, and do a lot more to it. That's probably what I'll end up doing whenever I get to it. Uh, so that's the four that I've got in the mail. Um, the Volkswagen uh, bus, um, this is, I mean, we're, we're basically... Uh, let me kind of just zoom out here or move around and get a picture of this. Um, basically, this is basically the same. I haven't done much to it. The only thing I've changed, I went in and um, 
the exhaust I had on it before was straight exhaust going down the back. And I said, nah, it, it just doesn't suit what this car is going to look like. So I put some zoomies on it. I got them going up in the air. Um, but basically, that's all that's changed on that. Um, the body, um, of course, the body, there ain't much done to it either. Uh, I got it in prime. Um, I just kind of, let me put this on the uh, turntable. It'll be easier to show. Hang on a second. I'm sorry. Um, no, I got to Yeah, let me find it. There it is. Um, I'm, I'm basically, I got it in primer. Um, I got still got some spots on the body, uh, especially where I covered those wheels in. Um, it, there's still a couple spots that didn't that aren't looking perfect. And I want I want to get it I want to get it right before I put the paint to it. But uh, I think in a day or so here we should have it um, pretty much. I got the roof pretty much done on it's it's in it's primed and it, it's it turned out pretty nice where I filled the hole in. Uh, where the engine was supposed to come up through, uh, but um, I decided. I think. I think I am. I talked about the color. Uh, I think I am going to do it in some shade of blue, um, and uh, maybe a two tone blue. And we may do the panel in here, and and, and just to stripe around. I'm not going to do the roof. The, the roof and the bottom will be the same. I'm just going to. I'm just going to do around this stripe. And down in down into the front end, um, and um, probably paint the seats some shade of blue or cover them or something. But this is where we're at. We're really moving. Uh, this has been a slow mover. I really, um, like I said, I, I've just kind of lost a little bit of interest. Uh, I'm having trouble getting back back in the groove. I've been doing a lot of things. Um, someday I'm going to do a video. Uh, if you've been following my channels, you know I've gone through a lot of things in, in this year. Uh, I got divorced at the end of last year. Um, uh, me me and the ex-wife bought a trailer, uh, a fifth-wheel travel trailer. We moved it here to Frostproof, Florida. Um, we, we were kind of, I don't know what you call it, living together as friends, roommates, or, or whatever. It's kind of strange, I know. Uh but she works from home, and it got a little tough. Um, not that we weren't getting along, but uh, she works from home, and me trying to go in and out and watch TV or do something with the dog, it was always, you know, I'm on the phone, she can you keep it down, you know. And I understand, you know, she's talking to lawyers and everything all day long. So so um, what I did, I turned around, and um, I basically turned that fifth wheel over to her, and she moved it to the lot next door and I went out and bought myself a new a new another new trailer a 2001 sandpiper which um we're getting off track I, I didn't want to get into a lot of personal stuff but I uh one of these days I will do a video on the new trailer uh probably here in the near future but this is where we're at like I said this is going real slow uh you know it, it's just not one of my priorities right at the moment but um, we are doing a little bit, of, you know, I put a, an hour or so a day in, maybe a couple hours on it. Uh, maybe I ought to just, um, set this aside and maybe start something else and get back and then come back to this. Uh, I was really gun ho when I started this, but it just seems like it's, um, I really like it the way it's coming along. I like the look of the way it's looking. Uh, I just can't get to the paint, uh, I just can't get to the paint part of it. Um, and I got a new airbrush I want to try out. So, so, so that's where we're at. Um, hopefully, um, I can get paint on it um, sometime this weekend or the beginning of next week. Um, so, with that, uh, this is Wayne. Have a good one. Stay safe, everybody. Goodbye. Talk to you later.